You will spend the day at Arafah. It's a plain that is considered to be a preparation for the day of judgment. You're literally preparing for the day when all of humanity is before God, stripped of all of their worldly uh, distinctions, and you ask for forgiveness. And so the prayer of Arafat is to ask forgiveness of God to come. It's very powerful because you are literally seeing humanity. There are Chinese people, there are Indonesians, there are Malay people, there are African people, there are black Africans, there are white Africans, there are Turkic people, there are European people, now there are American people, there are Mongolians, there are Chinese from uh, different places in China. The people literally coming, it says in the Quran, they will come from every deep crevice. They will come from every valley and they will come to this place and they're all there. You just see the whole thing. You see sick people, you see healthy people, you see people crawling, you see people being carried. Some people literally carry other people on their backs. You see people carrying their parents. So it's, it's just a very, very overwhelming experience to, to enter into that sacred space. And the great reminder on that day, the, the verse that was quoted when the Prophet made Hajj, there was a black man who, who gave the Adhan. And the Arabs looked down on, you know, they had this uh, racism, and they, they looked down on and they said, you know, they asked why that man was giving the call to prayer. And so the verse came down that um, we have created you in, in peoples and tribes to, to know one another. So the idea is people come there really to, to learn. It's a little difficult. I'm just, <laughs> I'm kind of getting back into that um, place. So just excuse me. So the idea is just to eliminate this, this uh, you know, this insidious aspect of human uh, nature, which is the idea that some people are superior to others. And when you see everybody in that same condition, you know, the, the nomad and the sedentary, the rich and the poor, and they're all just there in that same basic human condition, that we are bereft and we are poor before God. It's very powerful to, as a reminder, you know, that beware of considering yourself above this person next to you because of something incidental like color or because of something like wealth or because of something like beauty or because of something like lineage that in that place all of those things disappear and you're just like everybody else